adopted this accent, which I'm sure you'll find me blending in quite well. <laughs> um, I find myself sort of mumbling to myself and imitating what I hear around me, so I may break into uh, some sort of an accent. But it's, I, I'm really pleased to be here. It's really it's a treat, and I love this city. It's really great. The, we went to the Tate Modern today and saw the Gerhard Rector show, which is like fucking splendid. It's and it's just masterful. So go. It's, it's in your town. I'm going to start off. I'm going to read the best poems that have ever been committed to um, the English language this evening. Uh, the first of which is called The Library. <clears throat> I have this fear that I might die in a library, or get punched in a library, or get my ass totally kicked in a library, or seduced in a library, seduced, and then beaten up in a library, and then taken out of the library on a stretcher, or that I'll forget how to spell library when I'm sitting in a library writing a note to you that begins, I'm writing this to you from, and this next one is called For Time and Being. <clears throat> I miss you a lot, like totally trying to attach a wristwatch to thin air is disastrous, or trying to wave goodbye with a phantom limb is just so retarded. I tried to tell you love is glamorous, that it doesn't always have to end with the same dull thud of a half-eaten chicken thrown at the side of a dumpster. It doesn't suck to be us, because that just isn't possible. You see, I designed this stuff to be springy and tinny with delight, my fascination with necks and calf muscles and other amusements of the Brooklyn class is really delightful at its core. The smell of amber in May on my pillow. I want to do with you what rich people do every Sunday morning. <clears throat> the next one is called My Campaign. This is the most delicious I've ever been writing you a poem in crayon that you can't read because the tip has broken off. My knuckles, or what has become of them, a machete or something glassy, like your eyes, light and new. From the blackboard, a ruffian shapes letters in my blood, making a loopy scrawl like some French bedspread in Versailles. Maybe when I'm older, there will be a better looking sky to look at than the one I'm looking at now, which is all stained with Monday and making my heart ache in that dopey way a heart can ache on a Monday. Still, what fabulous things are in store for us, like trains and the complicated math of daily separation, why would you give me money now when my campaign is over, or should have been long ago, when I was so much bolder then? Um, ACDC is a band and, uh, sure. You may recognize the name of this band mentioned in the finest poem you're going to read tonight. It's not sad and trashy. It's not sad and trashy to want your nipples yanked while listening to ACDC. In fact, in this fog of dawn, something arty and sprung has taken hold of the day so that flesh becomes paper you can read like the news. I am reading you aloud on the bed or whispering what I remember before I fold you over into me. There are people all over this city making faces at what they cannot have. I am not one of those people doing anything but walking to work or sampling lips on Smith Street. If soft has a taste, it's on my lips. I'll hold a raspberry in white velvet and mash it into your neck. I'm that good all the time. Now, won't you come with me somewhere vast and green and pleasantly turbulent? And the next poem is called My Plans. How am I doing? Is this okay? Yeah, good. Things feel like they're happening okay? This is okay? I've got, I've, there's people over here too. I'm okay, right? <laughs> My plan. When I find the meaning of feeling fabulous, I'll let you know in a letter I'll never send. I'll keep you guessing as to my whereabouts, leave messages in other voices, and send packages from foreign places. The sidewalk will get cluttered with chalk writings describing the details of your days. I will do something with a fork that will allow you to breathe easier. <laughs> I will work on an idea tonight 
I will not get overwhelmed by quaint obstacles of time and space and shit like that. I will develop a certain method of grinding or hopping so the bed will move from the wall while I grind and hop. The floor will be slick with silicone. I will rub a word into your back, and you will feel it pleasantly lodged between your shoulder blades whenever you need me. <laughs>